I thought it's good being a scientist at any time. So uh, now, of course, you could say that uh, there are certain areas of science that is going through really extraordinarily exciting time. And uh, there are two areas uh, that I work on. One is uh, imaging. Imaging is really going through a renaissance. There are many different kinds of uh, revolutions in, in imaging. One thing close to my research is the overcome the diffraction limits so that you can see things inside the cell at nanometer scale, look at those tiny molecules that it's not visible before and uh, their re revolution in electron microscopy, now that you can peek into atoms inside molecules, there are all kinds of uh, uh, revolutions that are happening in imaging that really substantially enhanced our ability to visualize the living world, to see this really invisible molecular world that really matters to both our health and in treating diseases. So it's an extraordinarily exciting time. Another area that we work on is in the genomics area. You know, people are inventing, I mean, ever larger list of tools to get the uh, our whole genome and then whole transcriptome, whole proteome, you name it. And these give us a more systematic or systems level understanding of how so, so many different genes in our body collectively give us life and make you different from me. So, you know, these are going through, in both areas, that's because new technology, new innovation, new breakthroughs are happening that are bringing about, you know, really great scientific discoveries. So, of course, in this area, you could say it's really an exciting time to do science in these areas. But I always felt like at any time, there is this kind of, you know, renaissance or new breakthroughs maybe happening in different disciplines. So it's always a good time to do science.